Hey everyone, how you doing? Welcome back to Silent Hills Grand Theft Auto San Andreas' narrative walkthrough. Uh, we are done with the local syndicate uh, strand. Now we're on to Witsy Moose with his first mission, Mountain Cloud Boys. All right, come, come on, on you can do it. You come can on, do on, it. Kick ass, man. We're close, Puckeye. Easy, man. I'm here to see Woozy. Oh, uh, upstairs. Stupid ass motherfucker. I'm Johnson. I'm here to see Woozy. I work with him. Yes, right this way. Uh, you know of the boss's curse? Curse? Nah. He's blind. Blind? But we was just racing cars last week. Yes, I know. He's blessed with unbelievable good fortune. And the triad that would do anything for him? We call him our lucky mole. I, I keep that mom. Good. Woozy. Hello, Carl. Hey, what's happening, Woozy? You know how you doing? Straight to the facts. I can't use your help unless I'm open with you about who I am and what I do. Let me reintroduce myself. I am the boss of the Mountain Plow Boys. Nice to meet you. Likewise. Why don't you sit down? As Dai Dai Lo of the Triad, it is my responsibility to see that disputes are settled without uh, damaging important business. Where I come in at? We shall see. I'm about to drop in on a local triad that failed to show face at the last Tong meeting. Come with me. And you'll see how we triad settle things without recourse to unnecessary violence. All right, I'll ride with you. We'll need a ride. Mine's getting some body work done. All right, don't trip. All right, so uh, yeah, as it says, take Wuchi, uh to the Tong Mini, which is, as you can see on the radar, is just right around the corner, really. But instead of running there, I do suggest taking the car because he will be going with you, and you don't want to have to. Like what is the blood the feather try and have a storehouse around the block. We shall see what excuses they have to offer. Okay, so what's all this talk of business? Some small-time Vietnamese gangs have been making trouble lately. We're not sure why they're gaining any courage now, but I'm nervous about the situation. How do I fit in all of this? You're an outsider. This is a place. Come on, it's this way. Now, where's that loose cop? Hey, what the hell are you doing? Just uh, checking the, uh, you know, just shut up, Carl. This way. <laughs> yeah, this part's a little funny. Uh... Obviously, as you saw in the cutscene, he is blind, so you just have to kind of just make your way, you know, down the alley, uh, go against the uh, screaming, running people, and uh, make sure he is following you. Um, try not to get in his way too much, and uh, he'll, like, like we, like you said, help lead the way, uh, more or less. <laughs> My word. Ah, we're here. This way. Strange, this gate is usually locked. Stick close. Oh, man. Woozy. What's got you so spooked? Oh, oh, sorry. Didn't see you lying down there. He's dead. They all are. The blood feathers wiped out? Die, die low. Uh, forgive me. I was too scared to fight, so I hid. Enough. What happened here? Vietnamese surprised us. Cut us all down. Shit! Here they come again! Yes, he... The Triad must have vengeance! Alright, so you immediately take out the two guys rushing you, and then once you get to the car, if positioned just right, that can you aim at the guy on the right, which is not working, of course, obviously. Obviously, because you might record. Nothing ever works for me. Uh, but any other time, it's perfect. Um, 
try to shoot the gas tank, but this is a sentinel and it does take more bullets than normal to take out. But uh, <laughs> if the guys are right by the car, obviously, and they get caught in the blast, they'll die. But just keep on going down, and then once you reach the corner, you'll uh, come across a couple of dots on the radar. One of them will be, as you see up top, uh, another guy who will have a sniper rifle, so be very careful with that. He is the only NPC in the game who will actually have a sniper rifle, so um, just keep moving around if you want, but um, take him out uh, as quickly as possible. And I'll, also, obviously, you'll see Woodsy's uh, health up top, so make sure he stays alive. We got more company! You drive! I'll send them back to the sewer! I always wondered why some of the animations of them just sitting in the car, it looks like they're a horse or something. They're just like chewing like nom nom nom. Yeah, you know, I, I, I never really understood those animations, but you do notice it every now and then, like what Wootsie did whenever he got in. But in this part, it is possible for Wootsie to actually die in the vehicle, and I think you could get, get, you could get a game over. And if you restart the mission, his body can actually his dead body can actually still be seen in the park like, the uh, you, like when it respawns, I guess, or something like that. And then uh, when Mootsie okay. gets in, get back to my place. Uh, it's weird, like, he'll pull out his own dead body and then get in. If you do it again, it's, yeah, it's, it's Here, a weird thing. A token of the Tong's appreciation for what you did today. It, it's a little glitchy, but... Uh, let's see... <laughs> Yeah, so that's all you have to do. Like I said, I just suggest staying there and taking out the cars, or helping them take out the cars, instead of trying to drive away from them, just blow them up. Uh, so you'll get the money, you'll get the respect, and of course, uh, into the stats, we will be at 45.99% towards 100% completion, almost halfway through the game, everyone. Uh, that's it for this video. Uh, next one we will... I believe continue on with Uzi's mission. So I love you all. Peace out and goodbye.